Hey, Laura Jenny. I'm Hi, Yak here. I'm Lauren. That's Lauren. We're about to do our video um, project. Um, so yeah, uh, it's gonna be pretty crazy. So uh, just bear with us and uh, okay. just note we didn't have a lot of time because we were sick and yeah. So have mercy, please, on us. Okay. Right, so our topic is Cohen. So, like, people who are Pator from going to Melchama. So, yeah. So. Pasuk Aleph. Kitete la Melchama ala yachleve ra ita suzva rechleve i am rav mimacha loti ra mehem ki hashem elokecha imacha ha hamalcha me eret mitraim. When you go to when you go to battle against your enemies and you see horses and chariots and a lot of people more than your army, do not be afraid of them because your God, the God that took you out of Egypt, is there for you. Pasuk bed v'haya kekar kekaravchem el hamelchama v'nigash hakohen v'diber al al el ha'am. And when you go to battle, the Kohen will speak and and uh, decree what you should do. Pasuk Gimel, Amar Alehem Shema Yisrael Atak Atem Kravim Kravim Hayom LaMelchama Al Oyevchem Al Al Yehira Levavchem Al Tirau The Al Techab Su The Al Taaru Su Mipnehem. And you should say to them, Bnei Israel, go to the go go on the stage of battle against your enemies, and don't let your heart be faint. Do not fear. Do not be alarmed, and do not be frightened against them. Pasuk Dalad, Ki Hashem Elohim Haholechim Lachem Lahilachem Lachem Im Ayvechem Lachshiachem. Your God Hashem will go with you to fight the battle, and He will uh, He will save you. V'dibru Hashotrim El Ha'am Lemor Mi Ha'ish Asher Banavayit Chadash V'lo Chanacho Yelech V'yashov L'veto Pen Yamut B'Milchama V'ish Acher and the Shotrim will say to you, There is a man that built a new house and he has not dedicated it. You should let him go and return to his house because he may be die he might die in battle and and another man dedicated it. And what if there is a man that planted a vineyard but did not use the fruit yet? Let him go to return to his house because he might die in battle, and another man would use the fruit. And let's say there is a man that that uh, had his wife, but had not taken her yet. Let him go to return to his house because he might die in battle and another man will take her. And the Shotrim will say to you, they say, What if there's a man that is fearful and, and his heart is fainted? Let him go to return to his house. And when the officer stop, stops speaking, the, the Sarei Tzvaot will be appointed as head of the people. Pasuk Aleph, um, Dibor Matkal Ali Vecha. So, how should you treat your enemies? You should don't have pity on them because they won't have pity on you. Um, Im Rav Mimecha. What is defined by numerous? In some people's eyes, it could be numerous, but in others, it could not. Pasuk Bet, Kikarav El Hamelchama. What exactly is this? What when you are on the point of leaving the border? 
then Gage HaKohen. When is the Kohen coming near? Because he is appointed for this purpose. He is the one anointed for war. Vidavar El Ha'am. How is the Kohen speaking to the people? With the holy tongue from God. Pasuk Gimel. El Yarach Levavchem. Why would your hearts be faint? Because of the neighing of the other side's horses. The Al Tach Pizu. Why would you be alarmed at the sounds of the horns? Um, why would you be alarmed? And then the answer is at the sounds of the horns. Pasuk He. The Ishachar Yinachenu. Why should the other man inaugurate his home? Because if he didn't, because if he didn't do it, then this would be the source of great grief. Pasuk Zion. Pain yimutz b'melchama. What should he do if he doesn't die? He should return because if he does not obey the Kohen, he deserves to die. Pasuk Tet. Share svaot. What are the officers of the legions? This means that they are the that they are place guards in front of them and behind them with the iron arrows in their hands. And if anybody attempts to retreat, the guard has the authority to stick his legs and keep them from fleeing. Lest he die in battle. This article summarizes what the Pasukim were talking about and that the purpose of the Kohen speech is clearly to strengthen them and their faith in God. The purpose of the officer's speech is to say who is exempt from fighting, etc. The four types of people exempt from fighting in war are someone, one, someone who never inaugurated their home, like who bought their home but never d dedicated it, two, um, someone who bought a vineyard but didn't eat the fruit, Three, someone who married a wife. Four, someone who, like, who just married a wife, like a newlywed. Four, um, someone who's faint-hearted. And then the Torah only gives a reason for the faint-hearted man, which is in Pasuk um, Chet, which says, Who is a man who is fearful and faint-hearted? Let him go and return to his home, lest he melt the heart of his brother and like his heart. Why are the other three exempt? Rabbam writes in Pasuk in Kaf Pasuk He, that the Torah commands that these three return, for their hearts would be towards their homes, etc., and they would flee. And then the even Ezra, the Rashbam, and the Chizkuni offer similar explanations for this. Um, this interpretation fits in the context of the Parsha as a whole, which deals both in both speeches and with the strengthening of the nation's fighting spirit. The literature structure of the officer's speech the three and four model also reinforces this interpretation. We find, therefore, that this parsha is unified and its subject as well as its purpose, the strengthening of the spirit, that nation spirit with a view of victory. Okay, this is Rashbam. If a man's heart becomes weak and he's fearful that he will die in war and his luck will run out, there are those who think that if you go to war, and they are considered they don't have luck to come out and inaugurate his home. They won't have luck, so they won't be able to come home and return to inaugurate his house. Maybe God never wanted <clears throat> the person to go home and inaugurate his house, so that's why he sent me to war. The reactions were mentioned. The new house, the new wife, and the new vineyard. You are allowed to go home for these three, thing three things. Rambam asks if you are allowed to go home for any other reason. He says yes. If there is a fearful person and thinks that they, their luck will run out, they can go home. There, there are just examples of things that that can go on in your life, but there are many different examples, and there are, and and there are different places in Tanakh where it gives you three examples of something like, of something, but it is meant to represent many other things. One of, like, we find this in Kohelet, and uh, and there are just three things that are mentioned, but they're just overall meanings. They don't. They don't represent the the full concept, but every there are many different categories that fall under these three things. That's what Rashbaum says.